But my next guest says that rally may not last for long as Treasury could deploy a $700 billion liquidity bazooka to offset some of those pressures. Joining me now is Dan Clifton, head of policy research at Strategus. Dan, it's great to see you. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me, Kelly. I really appreciate being on and lots of good stuff to talk about today. And didn't you say this was the most investable election you'd ever seen in your lifetime? There's no doubt, and you're seeing that play out across the screen this morning. Just about every financial asset is affected by this election because it's dealing with trade policy and it's dealing with the bond markets. And so you're seeing the Indian rupee outperform the Chinese yuan. That makes sense. Tariffs on China, supply chains move to India. You know, you could take it all the way down to the sector level. As you mentioned before, cryptocurrency or Fannie Mae preferreds on the idea of, uh, of some GSE reform. So this is as wide as we've ever seen it in terms of what is investable from the election. And it's not just a one day trading. There's going to be an earnings impact because there's significant policy changes. And the, there was a binary difference between Trump and Harris. The market was pricing this like 55, 45 on election day. And what you're seeing is that remaining 45 percent get kept in here. So a couple of different kind of directions we could go with this. Just to circle back to the comment that we made in your intro, there's a $700 yeah. billion dollar liquidity sure. bazooka that yep. you're keeping an eye on. Just explain what that is. Explain what you think sure. could happen here with bond yields. Sure. I totally get the idea that bond yields go up on Trump. It's particularly true because we believe the Republicans are going to be declared winners of the House by a one or two seat majority. And that means that they can do as much fiscal legislation as they can. So we get that trade. But what will happen is on January 1st, the U.S. government will hit its debt ceiling. And when the U.S. government hits the debt ceiling, the government cannot issue any more debt. There is a fund sitting outside the banking sector called the Treasury General Account. And that money will be used to pay the bills of the federal government. And this is relatively new at the size that we're doing it. It's a post-COVID thing. And when we do that, no, that, that TGA makes those payments. That's money from outside the banking sector coming into the banking sector. And what that does is it loosens financial conditions. So bond yields come down. The dollar comes down. It's 60 percent correlated to the 10-year yield. 80% correlated to the dollar. And that is going to be so much bigger than anything Donald Trump can do on inflation or deficits. And it's going to happen faster. By the way, Kelly, that $700 billion will be deployed in the first quarter. It's not even annualized. Hmm. So it's a January to March type of issue. And it will have a major impact on financial markets. And it's why we didn't really mind whoever won the election. We knew that this liquidity bazooka was sitting behind there. And Trump will be a beneficiary of that. By the way, it's going to help ease some concerns on the deficit. We also believe the deficit is coming down this year, which is a very contrarian view and, and very much opposition uh, to what you're seeing with everybody bidding uh, up on. I'm going to have to rethink it.